Dead bats are turning up on the campuses of Cedar Park Public Schools. One was rabid and quite possibly the others as well. Those schools are trying to get the word out now to parents. And as KXAN's David Scott reports live tonight, this is something you need to be on the lookout for in the thick of bat season. Dave? Leslie, we're all familiar with the Mexican free tail bats that we have here under the Congress Avenue Bridge. We don't know what type of bats are dying in Cedar Park. Around the world, dogs cause 90% of the rabies cases in people, but bats can get you too, and you need to know the early symptom signs, which can start to manifest in 2 to 12 weeks after the infection. The dead bats have been turning up the past few weeks. One was found at Vista Ridge High School, but no one touched it. Another turned up at Henry Middle School, where several students did touch it. And another bat dropped dead at Wiley Middle School. Warning signs are now up in the schools, and parents are being emailed. The advice is simple. Explicitly, do not touch any downed bats. You know, if you see one, just stay away from it. Maybe even alert the school people, the principal. Rabid bats may be active in the day. They are normally nocturnal creatures. They may appear confused or unable to fly. A rabid bat may let you approach it. Cedar Park parents have seen this before. It happens. <laughs> it's a park. There's forests and trees all around. It happens. You talk to your children about don't touch? Oh, yes. Don't touch the bat. You'll be fine. I think it's a little scary, but I'm sure that, you know, this is the time of year when we start seeing bats because of the fact that we have a colony out here. Rabies is a viral disease causing acute encephalitis. Early symptoms include malaise, headache, fever. If a post-exposure prophylaxis is not administered before severe symptoms like acute pain or violent spasms, it usually proves fatal within days. Well, with the widespread vaccinations of dogs and cats, their rabies cases have gone way down. But with bats, there is a treacherous danger. You may not realize you were bitten, and therefore, you may not seek treatment. David Scott, KXAN News. Looking closer now at rabies, the Humane Society points out the disease is passed from mammals primarily through saliva. It cannot go through skin or air. But if you're bitten or have scratches or cuts and handle a bat or animal with rabies, you could become infected. The disease is transmittable, usually a few days before the animal dies from the rabies. Until saliva glands of an infected animal dry up, the virus is still potent. But keep in mind here, less than one half of 1% of all bats in North America actually carries rabies. Good thing to remember as we head into the annual bat season here in Central Texas. From March through April is when the Mexican free tail bats return and prepare to give birth. Bats give birth to their pups usually in June or July. And the animals hang around until October before going back south for the winter.